you can draw designs on the outside of the ring. So if I take wheel number 80, and again I will just line it up with a mark, but on the outside of the ring, now I will draw carefully. I might have to use my hand a little bit at the points to make sure it's going around. Just a little gently keep the teeth engaged. It's really with hole number one that is that you'll have the most trouble keeping the teeth engaged as you're doing this. There's actually a different name for designs drawn on the outside of their ring. They're called epitrochoids. The ones inside the ring are called hypertrochoids. Epi means on the surface. There, so that was wheel number 80 going around the outside of this ring. And I can make a variation on that by using another color and maybe a different, let's try hole number five and line it up. And now I'll draw with hole number five around the outside. my hypotrochoid. It's a little bit easier because the pen doesn't have to make such a sharp turn right at the right at the edge of the ring. So you see you get the same number of points with other holes on the same wheel but that's just a little further from the line. Now I'll just do one more. I'll line up hole number, I guess that's hole number nine, with the same mark on the ring, and I use a different color, purple, purple color. So you see how it's a less pronounced design as you use holes that are further from the edge of the wheel. And if you use interesting color combinations, it can be quite attractive. Now my epitrochoid has nine points. Suppose I want to make something on the inside that would match it. Well, I'm looking at my pattern guide and I don't see that any of the patterns created inside wheel number 144.96 have nine points, but remember thir number 32 has three points. So I'm going to take my little wheel number 32 and line it up so that it's pointing here and make take advantage of the ring still being fixed to the paper, and I'm going to make three. I'm going to draw three times. I'm going to line it up. I'm having to eyeball this, but I want a nine-pointed design on the inside. There's no mark there, so I'm eyeballing it as well as I can. And then I'm going to try to line it up with that hole. So it looks to me like I did pretty well, that I got it lined up in the right place. So I'm just going to match the same colors that I used before and draw um, patterns to go with the... So using hole number four, I'm going to repeat the pattern. And again, I'm eyeballing it each time. 
to make sure I'm in the same spot. Hole number four. And the third color I used was purple, so I'm going to take another. If I had one in four, then seven would be a good. Finally, I'll line hole number seven up with the previous patterns. Remember, this is this wheel makes a three-pointed pattern with the inside of this ring. No matter which hole you use, you get a three-pointed pattern. So now I've made a matching pattern on the inside to go with the ring on the outside, the epitrochoid on the outside, and I used the basic pattern guide that's in the inside of the book to help me find a wheel that would work.